Let's take a moment and look at this concept of registering connections. We're going to need to work with Mongo Engine. So of course, import Mongo Engine. And we need to set the alias and the name of the database. So just say Mongo Engine dot register connection, give it the alias, give it the name. We need to call this before we start interacting with our classes and other types. Before we try to do any queries or save any data, this has to be all set up. So this is what we wrote in our application. And this works fine when you're talking to the local MongoDB running no encryption, no accounts, default port, running on the local machine, same machine as this code. Now, if you're doing this in production, there's more to it, right? You need to set the username and password, which you have to set up in MongoDB. There's none by default, so you got to set that up with the right permissions. Probably it's a different server on an alternative port, so set the host and the port. You would like to create a, some sort of admin account, which is associated with that username and password. So you say, look, you authenticate an admin, use this mechanism. And finally, if you're going to do connections across, you know, somewhere outside your data center, you pretty much should just turn this on is you need to turn on SSL and configure the server for SSL. And then you pass that additional data in addition to the alias and the DB. Now there's a lot going on here and deployment and running MongoDB in production is not as simple maybe as it could be. Certainly it's something you need to be very careful about, like no authentication, no encryption, right? Don't run your code that way. It's fine to do it for development, but don't do it for production. In my full MongoDB course, I actually go into spend an hour, go and create a Linux server and set it up in a um, cluster of the database and the web servers and those kinds of things and really make this work perfectly and safely. But in this course, we're not going to go into it. I just want to leave you with, you need to set this up. You can look at the mongodb.org site as well or mongodb.com site and go through the documentation on some of the steps or just take my other course if you're really going to go and use this in production.